Ooh, is it cold right here? The air coming out of these rocks? Good afternoon. Second destination of the day. There are a few of them around that are rather accessible. But this one seems to be about the closest one. So I'm going to crawl up in here and we're going to take a look-see, as we say. You might say it too. Check this out. These are old locks in Whitehaven, Pennsylvania. And uh, I don't know how they built them. I looked at the storyline, and if you look at the size of some of these rocks, they had to pull off some great feats to get them in there. And I have slight trepidations, trepidations about going around anything that's man-made underneath it when it looks like it's already, you know, gravity is winning the battle here. I know people don't like using that word, but that's what we're using. Look at how it curves out there. Isn't that something? Now, I would say, I guess, it's not really granite, is it? It's kind of conglomerate. They're not conglomerate. It's almost like it's sandstone. I don't know. Is it sandstone or limestone? I'd have to look it up. I'm sure there's some kind of reference for it. But it's different than... Oh, it is granite. It's just weather looking. It is granite. Look at the steel sticking out of there. I mean, can you imagine how many tons, thousands of tons of rock are in this one lock? And that's pretty big. It's going back there another, I don't know. I'm going to guess 100 feet. I'm already, I guess, 20 in it, 20 deep into it. Well, yeah, I don't know where this cold air is coming from. There must be a mine shaft or something. They got something down underneath here. Big hole. Yeah, that's something else, though, huh? Whitehaven, Pennsylvania. This is a state access point. You know, most people stay on the walking trail up there. Uh, not me. There's a great view up there. When I, if I was a little younger and this thing was not so dilapidated, I'd crawl right up on there. Not today. You need a, you need three legs to walk on this. My left arm being my third leg today. Ow. I don't mind walking on stuff like this if I have my other hand up arm to balance me, but that's just and this is this is treacherous though it's freaking slippery. I don't care what kind of boots or anything you got. It makes it better. But uh Yeah, another another little jaunt here. Make sure I don't forget my drinky poo. Where'd I put it? Over here somewhere. I didn't get around here. I can come back down this way. Get another view from around the other side. Might be able to get up on this. I fished down here a lot when I was a kid. My dad, some other people. The river's right down there, the Lehigh River. You could hear the rafters going by. I was doing the thing for them. They can't see in here. Yeah, look at how big this thing is and it curves around. That's massive. Now, I guess that's what they felt they needed to, for a lock. I mean, wouldn't it have been easier to make it out of concrete? They did have concrete. According to the storyline I saw, this was built in a ridiculous amount of time. Again, with very limited manpower numbers of manpower i should have brought my drink because now i'm gonna have to pick it up on the way back i might oh i'm sorry i had my finger in the way i uh yeah look at how big this is i'm still walking along it this would be about the end of it when we looked at it from the inside and you can imagine what is all this crumbled down how old is this and a lot of this looked just like this when i was a kid Look at this thing. There's some. There's a pretty good pier over here to see. Let me give you a view of this river. 
This is where the other creek that I was at dumps into. Or this is what. I love that fishing spot. That island out there. Like to go out there. Oh, there's people fishing there. I'm disturbing their time. Yeah, it's first day. We call it one day wonders. Yeah, it's going pretty good. They don't have the tubes open for the trout fishermen. It's down low. Go back up to this. I mean, you really can't. I don't feel like crawling around there because I want to go back for my drink. And, uh, geez, I hope my finger wasn't in the way for too long. Yeah, I'm not a big into those 10, 12 inch trout. I mean, it's a fun thing to do. And once in a while, you get a decent one. I'm more fascinated by exploration now. I will be fishing a lot this summer, but not like that. I like to get in the water or the boat. Could be fishing in the boat today, but the wind is crazy. It's sort of nice down in here, but the wind is crazy. It's... And as I said in the prior video, I'm pretty sure uh, Duck reported Cat 3 tornadoes today in New Jersey. You can hear the wind whipping up above us a little bit. I mean, you'll hear it roar past, but not too much down here. I'm sure a lot of people like watching stuff walking through the bushes. I like watching people do this. A little sense of adventure. You feel like you're moving somewhere. Ah, I'm stuck in the freaking branches. This place is overgrown. Thing is, there used to be a lot more fishermen around here myself being one of them my father we'd be cutting branches back all over the place yeah you don't have to cut clippers just break them off <laughs> and i'm always complaining about people being inside too much and i have to correct and discipline myself get out it's easy to get caught up no doubt well I know I got a hill to go up here. And actually, I'm a little winded from that stupid little walk. All right. Nice to see y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Happy April 1st. Happy New Year. Be more you.